for me, it was mainly about the opportunity, mm -hmm. the chance to not only be in Godzilla, but, you know, big, crazy summer blockbuster. And I think when there's a film that focuses on big, giant monsters wrecking a whole city and t global destruction and all that kind of stuff, you want to make sure that it's not just that. And part of the things, one of the things that uh, Mike Darity and Zach Shields, who wrote it, did so well is make sure that you've got some human narrative that you can latch onto. You've got great characters that you want to see if they make it through it or not and follow what happens emotionally with them. Yeah, I, I loved, uh, I kind of, I auditioned with the scene from another movie and then they <laughs> like got the idea and then I got to meet with, with Mike. And uh, I wanted to be a part of it just from the jump. When you hear Godzilla, you know that there's not a lot of things that have over 30 movies around them. And it's a, it's something that stood the test of time. And I know with this go around, the, the legendary or American Godzilla, you know, it's important that these films uh, show respect to the original content. And somebody like Mike was ready to do that. And, you know, I, I loved being a part of this. And it was a dream come true. That's the evolution of Godzilla as a character. I mean, he starts off back in the 50s as this sort of like unknowable destructive force that just goes back into the sea when he's done. <laughs> uh, but now he's evolved into, he's taken on more human traits, he's taken on identifiable traits. Um, and I think in his role in this legendary uh, franchise, MonsterVerse as it were, is he's kind of like this warden of the earth this warden of equilibri equilibrium and when yeah. things are kind of thrown off with mutos or yeah, whatever, whatever Ghidorah. else yeah or Ghidorah, he's gotta he's gotta stand up and fight he's like our own huge giant superhero he's everybody's dad yeah he's <laughs> he's, 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 everybody's, he's everybody's like really stern dad yeah. as far as godzilla monsters go like he's fought all three of these monsters individually on you know in, in separate movies so when I heard that he was going to go, you know, all three are in it, and it's the second film. You know, this is yeah. usually what they end it with, you know, but this is the second film. Yeah. And it's what we've been dying for. You know, even from the, the Matthew Broderick one, you know, Godzilla wasn't going up against anything. And then 2014 happened, and they gave us a little taste. This is up in your face, ready to go. Mothra, the queen of all monsters, uh, Rodan. You know, the, the best phoenix I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, you know, Ghidorah, also known as Monster Zero, also known as King Ghidorah. He is uh, the biggest and baddest, and we're, we're bringing it this time around. In particular to this film, he was incredibly focused and determined. I think he had a lot on his shoulders to wrestle with, as we're talking about, like a massive fan base, a huge history with with the Godzilla films, and he wanted to make sure that he wanted to tell the story he wanted to tell in the way he wanted to do it. It's fun when you have somebody who's so passionate about the project and they're having fun while they're at work. That's so rare when you get to do that. And it usually, you know, great morale makes great movies. I play Sam Coleman. I am a sort of a liaison from Monarch, which is the agency that monitors and in some cases controls some of these titans, these monsters. And I talk to the Senate, I'm a communications liaison to that company, that organization. Uh, I play Chief Warrant Officer Barnes. I am the senior officer on G Team, which is a branch of military under Monarch. And uh, yeah, I take my orders from uh, Colonel Foster, played by Aisha Hines. And G Team is all about making sure the mission is successful no matter what it may be and you know try to have as the least casualties as possible and at the same time protecting the public from these titans i think it's the hands down the best monster movie i've ever seen in my life it's so well balanced you know the the subjects that we bring up in the film are, are real life situations you know yeah. i know we're dealing with a with giant creatures but we 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 speak on a lot of humanizing things yeah, I think in the end, you know, it's a fun, wild ride. It is a movie where you're like, you're looking up, seeing a bunch of monsters yeah. <laughs> beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> and in the end, once the credits are rolling, if you've taken the hidden message of climate change and what is our impact on this world, if you've taken that home and given that some thought, I'd say that's a win-win.